I'll sing until my lungs give out your beautiful extremely early which is why I am making me a pre-workout to take today because I am still half asleep but um, today I'm up really early because Tunde is having a live 45 minute hit and heels ride at 6 a.m. and I wanted to get up early enough so that I could take the ride and honestly I love I love working out early in the mornings now it gives me so much more time in my day to get all the other stuff done so Usually my workouts is like 6.30 in the morning, but because her class is at 6 a.m., I got up a little earlier today. So I'm gonna go ahead, take my pre-workout, check some emails, and then I'm gonna log into class and I'll catch up with you guys after my workout. Good morning, Good morning. I like your hair today. Thank you. Skyla got curls for the girls, y'all. And she picked out her little outfit that she wanted to wear today. And we still jacket. Yeah, we still dealing with that jacket. Skylar has that I don't care attitude. If I like it, I love it, and I'm gonna wear it. <laughs> so um I finished my workout. And it was really good. I took a shower and now we're getting ready to take Skylar to school. I'm making her her little snack right now. I remember when I was a baby, I used to dump the cherry on top of my bowl. You did? Silly girl. No, I was a baby when I did that. Like, I was like three years old. I know. Like a fat baby. I was like, <laughs> All right, so That's here's her snack. Two teeth. I usually just pack her something light. She usually takes chips, crackers. Um, cereal stuff like that because um, she's usually um um I'm still getting my brain together she's usually coming home during lunch so she eats lunch at home with us but I think today I'm gonna drop her off to Miss Miriam's house um, Miss also actually was supposed to take her yesterday but it was raining so bad so I just didn't get over there but I told Miriam I would start bringing Skylar by after school um, just to hang out with her for a little while um, Miss Miriam's dog is not feeling too good and it's only a matter of time So I want Skylar to go and just you know mom, hang out with her for a little bit. Mom. What? His name is Buddy. I know and Buddy's sick Why did you didn't say that though? Okay, sorry. Miss Miriam's dog's name is Buddy. Skylar's like say his name mm -hmm. So he's um, he's not doing too good y'all so Skylar goes over there every now and then, lifts Miss Miriam's spirits up. I've been bringing her some juice. I think when I go to the green market again, I'm gonna get her um, some fresh fruit from there because she likes that type of stuff. So, you know, anything we can do to make her make her feel better about everything. I'm just opening up some windows right now. Y'all, Freddie keep trying to get rid of my little plant station over here. Y'all tell him, leave it alone. Tell him, leave it alone. Tell him, let him be. 
they're almost ready it takes about a week um for these to grow roots so we still got some time no 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 it's this one over here it's up high i don't know if you can reach it uh don't pull it you're gonna close it <laughs> let go let go right there had <laughs> a good job all right so we're gonna get ready to take off and go to school now and Auntie Kendall and Jax. And speaking of fruits and stuff like that, I'm gonna be making um, a green juice today. Uh, I normally make the green juice like very basic, cucumbers, uh, spinach, and um, green apples, but I'm gonna spice it up a little bit. I have some pineapple, I have another pineapple. <laughs> yes, I had two pineapples. One of them was like going, going bad, so I had to hurry up and, and chop that one up. And then I have another one that's like really ripe, like y'all it's so ripe it's like ready ready in a good way so i'm gonna chop that up throw it in the juicer i also have some kiwi i want to chop up and throw in the juicer so i'm thinking about adding those to my green juice we'll see how that goes um after we drop skylar off we'll we'll come back and we'll make some come on sky let's go i'm done running my mouth for the day Okay, so we're in the car now. Big Freddy is um, taking us to school. <laughs> Skylar was doing her alphabets this morning. You want to tell Dada the alphabets? The alphabets. Like the letter M? What sound does the letter M make? Mm. What words start with the letter M? Mommy. Yeah, what else? Monkey. Monkey. Milk. What about the letter B? Bug. Bat. 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 Yep. Bear. Bear. What else starts with the letter B? Spider. <laughs> no, spider is a S, S, S sound. Ready to jump? One, two, three, jump. Good job. She ain't gonna let this jacket go, y'all. Cutie pie. All right, guys, so we just dropped Miss Sky Sky off to school. And just like watching her going into the building and stuff, you know, I'm sitting here in the car and I'm reminiscing with Freddie. I'm like, man, time is flying by. Like Sky Sky in school now. And a few, I'm gonna be registering her for kindergarten and it's just, Time was just flying by, babe. Like, seriously, it wasn't too long ago when me and you was just getting together and just talking about, you know, how we how we would like to do life in general. Like, one of the main things for me and Freddie growing up was back when we were just friends. Like, y'all know me and Freddie known each other forever. Like, I met this man when I was, like, 15 years old, y'all. I ain't know about life yet. But I did know that whenever and if ever I were to start a family I wanted to make sure that you know my kids grew up in a, a two-parent household because both Freddie and I you know we didn't come from that not saying you you have to have that or you don't have to have it but just from our own personal experience we just wanted to make sure that if ever we had kids they had a two-parent household so now I'm looking at it and I'm like you know here we are now in our early 30s <clears throat> <laughs> And we got our two little kids and you know, we, we still here, we still kicking it. And I just think that's just, I think this is a blessing. And I just, it's just, as I think back on time and what we wanted and where we are, it's just like such a reflection, you know? You remember them late night conversations? We weren't even dating yet. Like we weren't dating yet. You know you said that, but I secretly, secretly think that you wanted it. Oh, everybody then, who knew me no, knew I did. No, you said it back then, but I think a, a little piece of you did want it back then. Though. What he's talking about is like, the even, fact that I said back when I was like, when we were 15, I always said if I ever had a family, I would want it to be this way. Even once we got, I was saying it was like 20 something. Like even when, we, when we had little friends. No, no, no. Because I'm saying I had told you back then that I didn't, I didn't want children. But if I had children, and now he's trying to say I secretly wanted all of this. I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like even once we had little Freddie, right? Yeah. You was like, that's it, I'm done. I don't want no kid. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I but did. I, I did. secretly think that you did. And I still, I think you still do, babe. I, I think you still want like one more child. Seriously? I, I secretly think you do. I okay. think, I think that you. I know you do. We talked know, about it last I, I night. Do. I do want maybe one more. Freddie said under, he wants under, three. Under certain circumstances, though. <laughs> like. 
for me, honestly, like I told Freddie, based on, hold on, it's like overexposed right now. Let me fix the camera. It was like over, the camera was like overexposed. Like I was up here looking like the pot, the back of my, this part of my hand. You know, based on my my life experiences at that point, I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't really know if I want to be married or have a family, but if I do, I'm only doing it once. I'm only getting married once. And I take it very, very serious, my relationship. I really do. And when it came to the kids, it was like, you know, I don't I don't want to have too many kids if I can't do X, Y, Z or, yeah. oh yeah. Hey, Miss Taylor. Um, like, I just, I don't know. Like, Freddie just looked at it from a different perspective than I did. Like, I guess I looked at it more critically and I was just like, you know, am, am I able to do all of this? Like, can I do this? I don't want to have these kids and not be able to, to give them everything, if that makes sense, you know? So I was just like, after little Freddie, I said, okay, whoop, whoop, we're done, because I could do one, that's easy. And then came Skylar, and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but I can't imagine my life without both of them anymore. Like, honestly, I can't. I don't even know how I was able to say back then I didn't want kids, because now I can't imagine my life without my kids. Now you want one more. Sometimes I want one I more. Sometimes, now begin, now begin sometimes, I'm not gonna lie, sometimes. Look at that, we done talked all the way home, y'all. Okay, guys. So we're back in the house now. We're gonna finish up this conversation. I just put me some eggs on the stove real quick because I told Freddie I wanna have some boiled eggs and sausage with some fruit this morning. You got waffles? No. Uh, Your son ate the last waffle. Uh, right, grocery so grocery shopping is happening. No, we have nothing. I sent you the grocery list yesterday of all the things we're out of. You have, the only thing you have is cereal. Do you want cereal? I got two big old boxes of cereal. He has to like no toaster strudels, no toaster strudels, no pancake sausage. That's all on the list I sent you. Did you read it? <laughs> when I do the grocery shopping, I make a list and then I send the list to Freddie. So if there's anything he wants to add, that would be the time to do it before I place the order. But anyways, let's get back to this conversation. So I think where I left off at was in the car, I mentioned about like the whole kids situation, like having that third kid, and just kids in general. And like, I don't want to sound like insensitive when I say I don't want kids because I know there's people out there that, that really want to have kids and to, you know, say something like that can be, you know, a little, it make, make you feel a certain kind of way. And I just, I, I'm not coming from that, that way when I say that. Trust, I understand. My sister tried a very long time to have my nephew. And then even after, you know, getting pregnant, it was still a struggle. So trust me, I understand that. I'm just saying for me personally, you know, I just, I sometimes I do and sometimes I don't, you know, want more kids. Freddie always wanted more. It was a struggle just to have Skylar. Under circumstances though, that's it. Yeah, but his circumstances and my circumstances are different circumstances. Like, for me, I had my first kid when I was like 19 years old. Like, I lost my whole body at 19. That's when you're supposed to be in your prime, you know? <laughs> and now, I'm in my 30s and I'm... When you just turn 30, bro. Getting it. You know, and he's talking about a baby. Where? No, okay. For y'all, it ain't nothing. Y'all ain't pushing nothing. Y'all bodies ain't going through no changes. Well, except for little Freddie. Your your body did change with little Freddie. You had the pregnancy symptoms. <laughs> he did, y'all. When I was pregnant with little Freddie, this guy got the motion sickness and all that stuff. I was fine. I had absolutely no problems other than heartburn. I did with Skylar too. Not, no, I but did. Not, with not Skylar. like not like with Freddie. I mean, yeah, it was totally. Oh my gosh, I got motion sickness with Skylar. Like literally, like it was clockwork. I couldn't even I, ride in the like car. That's like magic real. What? <laughs> magic, magic is real. What do you mean magic? When a, when a guy go through some of the stuff that the female is supposed to go through. Mm-hmm. That's not it. It's real, man. I believe in magic. What the heck? I believe in magic. <laughs> <laughs> you better eat that cereal. Your brain not working right. <laughs> I believe in magic. I believe in magic. I believe in magic. No, but so, so you do want a third child. No, I'm not saying you I want a third it. child. I said sometimes I do, but then I think about, but you see, know, different a, circumstances. A, and oh, I, Diana, I, I said circumstance. What's your circumstance? I told you my circumstance. What? I'm trying to get my body back, That's and you trying to ruin it. All right, so my reason, honestly, it's, it's, it's really not even like whether I want a child or not. You know, in all honesty, I, I was okay with one. I felt like I was blessed with one. So the fact that I have more than one is more than enough. I don't, I don't have to have three. If I get three, I get three, but I'm not sitting here like, you want to do something? It's cold. 
right, Tiffany. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. That real, that real cracked me up. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's that's just. I guess that's just that's just how I feel about it. It's not yeah. a matter of if I want or don't want. I just I feel like I have been blessed. Yeah. yeah. What's your reason? Because you asking mine, never tell George. I told you my reason already. Well, tell them. They don't know. <laughs> No, mine is always um I don't wanna say financial, because that's not that's not it. It's a piece of it. But it's just like I just wanna make sure that I have all my stuff together before I bring another child in this world. Like, you know what I'm saying? I grew up in a in a bad area, man, and you know, it's like some household they certain certain households they couldn't do certain things because it was like too many kids. Too many kids or the parents and couldn't afford this and you know what I'm saying? It's it's a real touchy situation, man, but I know it sounds selfish, don't it? No, because I look at it from this perspective. When you're a kid, and let's say you grew up like Freddie and I, well, actually, Freddie was a little different because both of us grew up in a neighborhood where, you know, we didn't really have that much. We, I ain't gonna say we had nothing, but we didn't have that much. And, like, and Freddie's, in Freddie's childhood, you know, he grew up in an area where the kids I would, would be quote unquote considered underprivileged. And then his mom wanted to take them out of that area and show them a better life. However, when they moved, you know, y'all still was the, you know, kind of like underprivileged kids, but you moved into a world where these kids were driving Beamer Benz and Bentley. <laughs> no, no, right. You know what I'm saying? And you still riding Palm Train. So, yeah, you got exposed to more, but it, the feeling that, that makes you feel as a kid is just like, okay, you showing me these people with all these things, but I, how, how do I get that? How am I supposed to, to get that? You know, my mom can't, can't get that for me. So you love your parents, but you're feeling bad because you, you don't have. And I understand that. That feeling is deep. And I feel like for us, when it comes to kids, that's what you mean when you say the finances. Like, it's not that you got to have a lot of money, but you no, just want to have no, enough. No, for me, I want to be... You want to give them experience. I want to be more than capable of, of doing more that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's not what I'm saying, but I'm just trying to give you a, like a, I get like it. a, like a vision. Yeah. That's the best. Because that goes into a whole another story about safety yeah. nets for the kids and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. It goes into all of that. But I would say, like, you know, it's funny because our channel is, is the slogan is, you know, life is a day to day experience. I was like, and with our kids, our biggest goal is to make sure that they experience life. You know experience it in in different ways than i feel like what we did not saying we did it like it wasn't good or anything like that but i'm saying it could be better you always want more for your kids than what you have yeah, for yourself. Of course, of course. my mom wanted more for me she gave me more for she gave more to me and my sisters than what her mom gave to her and vice versa but you know for us me and freddie we want to give our kids more <clears> than what we had and just a little a little bit more <laughs> to do it for a, a third child i mean i'm just saying i'm I blessed i'm blessed with you I'm good <laughs> Touch the situation, bro. It's yeah. not even the wrong thing. You don't want to offend anybody. That's what I'm saying. You don't want to say Being on this thing. platform, you can say something and you can mean it so wholeheartedly and come from a good <laughs> place and somebody going to come at you and be like, oh, what you trying to say? I'm saying what I said. I'm, I'm saying See, what I said. Are you finna give us all kind of... Uh, all <laughs> I, kinda, said, uh, I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said, okay? <laughs> Understand the place that I'm coming from. I'm not trying to offend nobody. I'm not trying to take away from nobody's blessing. <laughs> Why are you doing all that? This because... Is this is <laughs> you about to burn my eggs up over there while you're joking. <laughs> Alright, y'all. So, <laughs> oh, this, this topic is getting very, very touchy. So, overall, I'm just going to kind of just capture it all in one bit. Basically, bottom line is, you know, everybody has a plan for their life and everybody has a reason for why they may or may not want certain things to each its own and on that note i'm gonna get ready to make some juice because y'all been asking about these juices and i was about to make juice anyways so we're gonna go ahead and get started with that today we're gonna be making and i say we because freddie is going to be making juice as well let's get started we're gonna do some green juice today um, I have a couple of different fruits that I want to introduce into it. I, I have a pineapple. I told y'all about that earlier. But I have a pineapple. I had two pineapples. One of them I already cut up for the kids so they can eat. But there's another one that's really, really ripe. And I want to add it to my green juice. As well as some kiwi and some apples. I want to make like a fruity green juice. Which I haven't done yet. Do you want yours like that too? So I can put make just one of them? Or you just want your basic cucumbers? Oh, <sighs> 
gosh. I be trying to get him to change it up, y'all. Your body gonna get immune if you keep drinking no, the same no, thing. No, it's not. I feel good. That's just gonna be good. Then you should try beet juice. Dude. When I tell you the energy that beet juice gives is out of this world, like you can be dirt tired like I be after those rides sometimes. Like I'm so exhausted sometimes because I push myself too hard. And I drink that beet juice and I'm good to go. How do I get it done? Beet juice. Beet juice. It's the truth. So I finished making all of my juices. This is the green juice. I'm gonna call this a tropical green juice. It has apple, kiwi, pineapple, cucumber, lemon, lime, spinach. I think that's everything. And I'm sorry if I didn't um, like do a more in-depth type video for you guys on the juicing. I know a lot of you were asking for me to do more juice videos. But I had to speed this one up because honestly, the video was like kind of getting long. But I, I promise that the next time I do the juices, I will do it in a little bit more detail for you guys, kind of like take you step by step in case you're, you know, interested in like step by step how I do it, if there's like a specific order or anything like that. But this one's like my first time making it. And you guys seen in the video that I used a pitcher because normally I would only make like two different juices and that's usually like two bottles worth which is like the one little cup but i had to pull out my pitcher because i made four bottles worth of this juice this time um and i made one juice for both me and freddie and i normally make about four juices um but because it was all the same juice i just dumped everything in one pitcher and then just mixed it up so i got about what are these 18 ounce glasses and i got four full to the top 18 ounce glasses as well as another cup that i drunk already of this juice and it's really good it kind of gives it like a little tropical flavor to the green juice my issue with green juice is i don't like the somewhat bitter taste that it can have at times freddie kind of likes that for some reason because he feels like it's greens but i like to add a little just a little flavor to mine so anyways um i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here though i want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and um, like I said, uh, next time I make the juices, I'll probably slow it down a little bit and go into a little bit more detail with you guys so it's not so sped up. So it, you'll really kind of get the gist of what it is that I'm doing. But thank you so much for hanging out with us today and we will see you tomorrow. Life is a day-to-day -day experience.